Hello and welcome to Zero Cool Gaming and today's anime review. Today we're going to be reviewing an anime that I watched quite a while back. It's about a three hour long movie. Now this movie I watched in two parts. It was on two CDs, or two DVDs. An hour and a half a piece. So it's an hour and a half a piece. So it is a three hour anime. And the name of this anime is Karis. Now Karis is a unique story. In fact, it is a unique, unique Japanese story. And the reason I say that is to truly understand this story, you need to have some knowledge of the history of Japan. You need to have some knowledge of the, say, the religion that many of the Japanese people believed in. You see, there was a time in Japan when people believed in ancient gods and spirit realm. And they gave prayers to these ancient gods and believed in the spirits of the realm. And this is where the story of Karas truly begins. You see, the ancient gods in this story felt that they needed a mediator, a protector of sorts. One who would both protect the spirit realm from the mortals and would protect the morals, the mortals from the spirits of the realm. And thus, Akaris was born to be that mediator. And with the mediator became, as well, an observer, a watcher. One who would watch over the Karas to ensure that he did not become corrupted. And if corruption was to seep into the Karas, it is the Watcher's job to end him. And thus our tale begins. Taurus begins his life during this feudal time of Japan. And all is well and all is good. The mortals continue to pray to their gods and give reverence to the spirits within the realm. And the spirit realm is healthy and maintained as a result. Time will change things, of course. And as time went on, Japan evolved and eventually became into the world that we see today, the age of technology. And with this new age of technology comes new beliefs and understanding. And the mortals have become arrogant in their beliefs of science and understanding, and have forsaken their old ways. No longer do the people pray to the elder god. No longer do they give reverence. Re excuse me. And no longer do they give reverence to the spirits they once revered. And as such, within this story, the spirit realm suffers. And it becomes weak and sickly. Karis, upon seeing this happen to his world that he has such compassion for, becomes anger and bitter to the material realm and those who dwell within it. Of course, there is another crux to the story that must be revealed. You see, the Watcher that was designed to watch over this Karis and ensure that such corruptions never filled his heart to become enthralled with him, and even fell in love with him. And as a result, he was blinded to the corruption that was happening within him, because he never sought to see the thought from within him. And by the time she realized that he had become corrupted, it was too late. So you see, the Karis knew that this day would come, and he had planned for it. You see, he created a vast machine in the material realm, one designed with only one purpose in mind, to capture and contain his watcher, so that she could not interfere with what was to come. The corruption had completely seeped into this car, and completely turned him into evil. And the story goes on. As the ancient Karis begins to create vast, powerful machines in the material realm. 
that he then infuses with very powerful spiritual beings from the spiritual realm. And when these two entities combine, they create what the humans would soon call demons. And these demons would strike fear into the hearts of man in an effort to force them back to their old beliefs. Bringing back the power and health of the spirit realm. You see, there were no depths to which this ancient Karst was willing to go in order to see his vision brought forth. Now the ancient gods of the spiritual realm saw this happen, and they knew that something must be done, something drastic. They were not willing yet to commit. So they tried their hand at what they knew, and created a chorus to defeat this ancient. And failed he did. For two very basic reasons. One, he did not have the knowledge necessary to face the ancient guard. And two, he truly feared him. And when these two things are combined, he sought or had no hope of defeating the ancient guard. Upon this new revelation and realization, the ancient gods knew that they had to throw caution to the wind and create a being that was far more dangerous than the ancient cars had ever become, or possibly could. But they also knew that without doing so, terrible things would continue to happen to the material realm. And worst case scenario is that all of it it may change the material realm, but it also will probably not fix the problems that were occurring in the spiritual realm. And what kind of being did they create in their new Kara? They created a being that had no fear, feel no pain, and had no need for compassion. Yeah. A truly dangerous being indeed. And so they created a new watcher, an ever vigilant watcher, that would question his every thought and restrain his every ability. And this watcher was what they intended. Some might even say too much of So this new Karas began his journey, hunting down the demons created by the ancient Karas. And he did his job well, defeating each demon one by one at the encounter. Something miraculous did happen along the way. You see, this new Karas found his compassion and learned the reason to have it. And in the end, he did confront the ancient god and defeat him. And as a result, he found a better way. And that is the story of Kara. It is a unique and interesting story, and as I said, it is uniquely Japanese. But an interesting story nonetheless, and one that I found quite enjoyable. There is lots of action and lots of lore and a lot of ancient Japanese history contained within. Predicated on a bunch of beliefs that they no longer believe and a bunch of things that many do not believe in as well. But nonetheless, a Japanese tale at its core. And I quite enjoyed it. I quite liked it. I thought it was one of the best, better movies that they had produced in quite some time and a unique take on ancient, feudal Japanese lore. At the very least. Well, that's my rant for the day, and I do hope you enjoy the rest of yours.